You'll notice, notice the size of the foramen magnum. Notice the ventricular action. Notice the disc herniation. So notice the cord descending down here over C5, C6. Notice the bulges here and the fluid trying to descend down. This is a stenosis occurring here. And you'll notice that it's much less bright white than the post. When you look at the post in a second, you'll be able to see that it'll be much brighter and much more is descending down. And you could see here the uh, focusing of the ventricles. It's almost like a, a milking type effect. And you notice the change in signal. Now one of the most amazing things about our research was that even prior to getting to the stage of the flow studies, we were able to uh, show changes of uh, signal intensity and the increased white that you see is a change in signal intensity. Remember, the, nothing's changed here except the patient being adjusted, therefore changing the signal intensity interpreted by the MRI magnet. Now this is the same patient on a post adjustment. Look how much brighter it gets. It bounds at you. One. One surges. Two. If you look down the cord, Three. it's surging down the cord. Her CSF was going barely. Obviously, she was alive, but now she's alive. <laughs> More importantly, you're seeing here uh, uh, cerebral cortex activity where before it was stagnant. And when you have this image, isn't this the image we get and feel after we get a good adjustment? We notice those changes. We feel almost as if this picture is telling us how we feel after we get adjusted. Notice the pulsation, the size of this foramen magnum has opened up tremendously. The disc herniations, and you can see the pulsation descending down here to C6 and C5 area where it wasn't before. 